Hi, this is Caroline from Style on the Side, bringing you effortless style and beauty. Today, I want to talk to you about the history of red lipstick. When you imagine the perfect red pout, it is inevitable that you'll picture the golden age of cinema. From silent movies straight through to Technicolor, it is an ever-present image of the strong, sultry woman who knows exactly what she wants. Its image is so intertwined with its history that the two cannot be separated. Worn by pharaohs and queens and ladies of the night, red is a color fraught with controversy. Dating back to ancient times, lipstick has a checkered pass alternating between popularity and condemnation. It was only as of the 1920s that red lips finally gained acceptance in England and became an integral part of the fashionable ladies' wardrobe. Clara Bow was the current star of the silver screen, and women everywhere could be seen wearing her signature Cupid's bow, shaped lips, and stunning matte garnet reds. The flappers, it girls of their time, adopted this color too. It was a symbol of their independence and rebellion against the morals of the previous generations. Their beaded dresses, short bobs, and deep red lips became the defining image of the Roaring Twenties. Forever the innovator, Guerlain launched the timeless icon Rouge d'Enfer in 1924. It was a rich red lipstick with the opulence of a ruby shimmer. The line has stood the test of time and is still available today, though it has evolved into a deliciously luxurious, scintillating cocktail of color, which leaves your lips feeling fuller and softer. Amongst the oldest names in the beauty industry, Elizabeth Arden was a fiercely driven businesswoman. A true symbol of independence, she believed in empowerment through makeup, promoting a healthy lifestyle and holistic beauty. In the 1930s, she created a vibrant Montezuma Red as a tribute to the brave women serving in the army. Although no longer available, its influence has been felt in the decades that followed. Even though makeup was scarce in the 1940s, red lips were encouraged and seen as a sign of patriotism. Service women sported luscious red lips in order to boost morale and show strength in femininity. Veronica Lake, Joan Crawford, and Betty Davis, the most glamorous women of the silver screen, enchanted and inspired audiences with their full and splendid red lips. In the following decade, the cinema brought back passion, adventure, and romance to the classic red lip. There was an endless line of suitors for Marilyn Monroe in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes and the dangerous sensuality of Ava Gardner in The Killers, which Burt Lancaster was powerless to resist. Diamonds may be a girl's best friend, but it is the red lips that get her noticed. Companies such as Guerlain and Elizabeth Arden knew that red lips were the defining statement of a woman's look. Elizabeth Taylor, Rita Hayworth, and Marilyn Monroe were women who bravely blazed through life forging their own paths. Just as these trailblazers have survived and permanently stamped themselves into our psyche, so has the classic red lip. As a symbol of passion and utter confidence, it has become the color of choice for the woman who wants to be seen and to be heard. While other styles may come and go, the red lip says, I have arrived. For more tips on achieving effortless style and beauty, subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Style on the Side.